Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the Decision Desk HQ YouTube channel. My name is Ryan Guest, Elections Data Fellow here at DDHQ, and I could not be more excited to announce the launch of our brand new website in partnership with The Hill, bringing you polling averages across all of the key 2024 races, as well as a customizable build your own 2024 election prediction map page. I'm here to guide you through all of the tools, the data, and how to make the most of it. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell while you're at it. We've got a load of content coming your way leading up to the Iowa caucuses in January and beyond for the 2024 primaries and the general election. You can follow along with me as I go through the pages at elections2024.thehill.com. The link will pop up in the top right hand corner right now and be the very first link in the description down below. So far, the DDHQ poll intake team has gathered more than 7,000 polls from around the country, covering everything from Republican presidential primaries to Joe Biden and Donald Trump's candidate favorability ratings. You'll also find President Biden's job approval rating, hypothetical general election averages between Biden and Trump, or Biden and DeSantis, and generic ballot polling asking people which party they would support in their local congressional election. You can view these polls in order of recency by scrolling down here. You'll find the dates the survey was conducted, the sample size, and the surveyed population. LV, in this case, stands for likely voters, including registered voters with a high intent of voting. RV, meanwhile, denotes just registered voters, where only registered voters are surveyed. If a poll is marked as surveying adults, it includes all Americans aged 18 and older, representing the opinions of all U.S. residents, regardless of voting eligibility or intent. And for more details on each poll's methodology or additional information such as crosstabs, click on the pollster's name. This will lead you to either the article the poll was sourced from or a PDF or spreadsheet containing the data provided by the pollster or its sponsor. And finally, if for whatever reason you want to look up all of the polls conducted by a single pollster per se, you can search up their name right here. Now, to generate an average for a specific race or polling question, a minimum of five conducted polls is required. This ensures that there is sufficient data to present a comprehensive and accurate overview of the race over time. In essence, polling averages aim to provide a more precise representation of public opinion by addressing variations and biases inherent in individual polls. They also offer insights into trends and shifts in public opinion throughout an election cycle. Currently, polling averages are accessible for each of the six races displayed here on your screen, along with additional races, such as a potential matchup between incumbent president and Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden versus former president and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump in Georgia's presidential race. The average for this matchup, for instance, is derived from 15 polls collected by our team here at DDHQ, specifically evaluating this contest in Georgia. That said, any race meeting the minimum threshold of five polls already showcases a polling average, just like the one you see here for Nevada. To access these averages, simply filter by state and then select the desired race. As more polls are conducted across various races in different states, additional averages will be available for your viewing pleasure. One thing that makes our polling average pages unique from other websites is our polling average unskewer. This tool allows you to tweak the polling average to project this year's results, taking into account historical national polling inaccuracies. The polling bias for the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections relies on an analysis from the American Association of Public Opinion Research, comparing actual results to national polls. 
to gauge bias in the 2018 and 2022 midterm elections, we measured it by comparing 538's generic ballot polling average with the adjusted U.S. House national popular vote. The data for this analysis comes from the UVA Center for Politics for 2018 and Decision Desk HQ for 2022. Now in practice, if you want to use this tool, in the 2020 elections, the national polling bias favored Democrats by 4.3%. Now if you click this scenario, the adjusted average would shift from R plus 1.1 to R plus 5.4. Similarly, adjusting based on 2016's bias shifts the average from 1.1 points in favor of Republicans to R plus 2.2. Alrighty, now let's dive into the predictions tab. Here you can create and customize your own 2024 electoral college map by making your own predictions for the outcome in each state. Simply rate each state as safe likely, lean, or toss-up in either direction, based on your hunch about which party or candidate will come out on top. In simple terms, a safe state is one where one party has a clear edge, and the race is not competitive. A likely rating indicates where one party has a clear edge, but an upset is possible. A lean rating suggests that one party has a small edge, but the race is competitive. If you label a state as a toss-up, it means that it's anyone's game. No party has a distinct advantage, and the race is essentially a coin flip. Now as you adjust the state ratings, keep an eye on the electoral vote tracker. It adjusts based on your changes. Don't forget that a candidate needs to secure 270 electoral votes to clinch the presidency. The starting point is DDHQ's preliminary forecast, but you can also kick things off with the actual 2020 or 2016 presidential election results. Meanwhile, the Senate and House prediction maps work fundamentally the same, but in this case remember that a party must reach 51 seats in the Senate for a majority, or 50 by winning the presidential election and therefore holding the tie-breaking vice presidential vote and in the House, a party must win at least 218 seats. Alrighty, ready to flaunt your forecasting skills? You can hit that share map button and you can post an image of your predictions on your socials or send it to your friends. It's time to make your mark on the political crystal ball. That is all for this Decision Desk HQ video though. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out that website and make sure to click that like button on this video down below if you did indeed like it, it means a lot to us. And subscribe to the channel down below as well if you have not already. Also check out more content from our channel here, and as always, we'll catch you next time.